Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Bill Moore. Okay, I'm back again with my final uh, hot sauce review for uh, Ken Stringer of Ken's Pepper Works. And what I'm going to be reviewing today is his Rio Grande Mud. <laughs> Check that out. Now this is a, a Mexican style hot sauce. Uh, these are all natural, gluten free, no preservatives. Uh, some of the best tasting hot sauces I have ever tasted. He has some very unique and complex uh, pro, uh, flavor profiles for his hot sauces. Ken's an avid cook, so he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, make sure you check out my reviews that I did for his Red Thunder, uh, which uses tamarind, just an awesome uh, hot sauce. And also for his uh, Island Sunshine, a fruit-based hot sauce. Make sure you check those out. Uh, the first one, Red Thunder, was kind of an Asian-style uh, hot sauce, barbecue sauce in a way. Um, the uh, Island Sunshine was a kind of a Caribbean-style hot sauce. And so Rio Grande Mud is uh, Mexican, so he's got something really for everybody. But let me go ahead. Uh, well, before I do, he's got this one rated a medium, uh, as you can see. And his uh, heat scale, 1 to 10, he's got this one rated at a 5. And I think, Ken, you're pretty accurate on your uh, heat rating, so just a great job on that. But let me go ahead and read the uh, side of the bottle on this one. It says, transport, transport yourself to Mexico with Rio Grande mud. Dried chilies and habanero peppers intermingle with hints of chocolate and coffee. A roasted garlic and spices round out this balanced, complex, and satisfying savory sauce. It says, use on beef, pork, poultry, barbecue, steak, eggs, chili, sandwiches, or anything south of the border. Turn a hot dog into a chili dog. Baste your barbecue and add to burgers. The possibilities are endless. Now I'm telling you, this stuff is incredible. This is another one I opened up already. I wanted to get to know it, use it. Uh, this stuff is fantastic on grilled meats, especially steak. It's great on pork. I've had it on a baked chicken empanada, which is fantastic. Headed on steak fajitas. This is a very good sauce. A Mexican style sauce uh, using dried chilies and the coffee and the chocolate in here is just uh, fantastic. Let me go ahead and read the ingredients before we get into this a little bit more. We start off with water, garlic, lime juice, vinegar, chipotle pepper, brown sugar, sea salt, red habanero peppers, guajillo powder, a dark chocolate, chili de arbo peppers, coffee, spices, contains soy and milk. Now the consistency, I think, is just perfect because um, it is. It reminds you of mud, and that's exactly what it does. The aroma, uh, just a beautiful aroma. Um, you can smell the garlic. You can smell the dried um, uh, guajillo and the. Uh, a little bit of the uh, chipotle peppers and definitely I can smell the chocolate and kind of the bitterness but bitter in a good way from the coffee that's kind of coming up in the background just a fantastic aroma let's go ahead and put this on a spoon so if you like a um, hot sauce like this um, I think you're gonna like this one kind of a southwestern style um, flavor and aroma um, but a lot thicker. Mm. It's very earthy. It's rich. It's spicy. It's fantastic. And you get an immediate burn from the habanero peppers um, right off the bat. But it doesn't seem to last quite that long. But you just get kind of, it's kind of a, a, uh, a gritty. Uh, texture in, in a way and I like that I think that that was on purpose because I think the uh, the way you named it Rio Grande mud is just perfect but you get the dried pepper flavors you get the garlic and you definitely get these uh, undertones of the coffee and the chocolate the dark chocolate just coming up just a little bit so really really great job on this I love this stuff but well, what I've got to um, eat this on today for this review is a uh, shredded beef and cheese chimichanga. Doesn't that look good? So I'll go ahead and uh, check this out. Very rich, very spicy hot sauce. And I just love it. Here we go. Mm. Wow, 
This stuff is incredible. Just a really great job on this can. You really nailed this one as well. Um, on flavor, this is highly, <clears throat> highly recommended. So I'm giving this a 9 out of 10 for flavor. Just a very good job on this one, Ken. And on heat, um, I think you got it for the for the mass market right there. Five right there in the middle. It's medium. I think that's just right on. I think on my 1 to 10 scale, I would give it a 4 out of 10. It's got a nice burn on it from the habanero peppers. Uh, but just a great, smoky, earthy, rich, dried uh, pepper type of Mexican-style hot sauce with hints of chocolate and coffee. Uh, even your descriptions, uh, you nail your descriptions on how you describe the flavor of the sauce. So just a very, very good job. So highly recommend it, everybody. Check them out at Ken's Pepperworks on Facebook. And the website is kenspepperworks.com. All right, thanks for sending your sauces, Ken. I really do appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.